this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Today, we're going to be going through Ozzy's Fort, and try to take down him and his generals. And it looks like Sir Slush survived after all, as well. So, we gotta take him down now. Uh, same strategy as against Flea. Um, I don't think he'll even get a single attack on me, to be honest, but... Gotta take him down, so... Dark Bomb Flare. Goodbye, Sir Slush. Or, well, Super Slush, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you became a little more powerful than last time. Not really. Flare is so good. It's almost as strong as Luminaire, uh, given its base power. But uh, Luminaire is still a little stronger, except that, well, Chrono's magic stat sucks, so Flare actually will end up dealing more damage for now. And what do we have here? Some more hidden treasure! I don't want it. You know what? I don't think that chest contains anything that good, really. So, nah, I don't believe you. All right, a monster! Ha ha! Moron. But at least he got to keep his soul. All right, so now he leaves, and now let's go back and get that treasure. Ha ha! All right, now, hi -o! And we get some more secret treasure! And we get some good stuff for Magus here. Basically his, well, maybe not his ultimate equipment, but equipment designed just for him, and some of it is his ultimate equipment, so I'm gonna take a moment to equip that and use the magic tab on Robo, and be right back. Okay, we're back, and uh, when I equipped the uh, Gloomhelm on Magus there, I gave his Vigil Hat to Chrono there, since he needed it, and Magus doesn't anymore. Uh-oh, don't tell me we gotta fight all three of them at once. I'm shaking in my boots now, and they have three new items that make them invincible! Well, not quite, really, but that's okay. Now, first things first, uh, Luca, I want her to cast Flare on all of them. Uh, basically the idea is that I want to take out uh, Super Slash and Flea Plus at the same time because if you only kill one of them then um, the other one will just run away and you won't get the experience and tech points from them. Unfortunately when you do hit them all at once though they will counterattack and it's uh, not a very nice counterattack there so that's why I don't want Magus to be casting like Dark Mist on everyone because that won't really deal a whole lot of damage and you'll suffer another counterattack, which would be pretty bad. <laughs> so, they got two triple attacks. Oh man, we're in trouble now. See, so, yeah, I'm gonna have Isla charm these unique items from these guys. Um, most of them aren't really useful, although I do want to get Slasher too because it is a better weapon for Chrono at this point. Although, if you've done other side quests, it's Probably not that useful to you, but you want to get that for him. I, mean, I think it increases his speed a little more, too. So, not that I'm really... Well, yeah, I am going to be using Chrono soon, so... So let's get the other one from... Uh, what's his name? Super Slash there. Now, Ozzy has the Ozzy Pants, and I have never really used that item, but I've heard some people talk about it a little bit. Um, it's, it's the strongest helmet in the game, or, well, the strongest headgear in the game. Yes, you equip Ozzy Pants on your head. I don't know why. Sounds a little perverse to me, but whatever. And so it's the strongest headgear in the game for no apparent reason. But the on the flip side, it also inflicts the chaos status on you right from the beginning of the battle, which well, obviously is pretty bad. However, I've heard some people say that they actually like the Ozzy Pants because basically all you have to do is take one physical hit or use a heal item on them or whatever to remove the Chaos status element. And basically you've got essentially the strongest helmet in the game equipped on your party member now with no other side effect after that. So, I don't know. I still don't like it myself. I think there's better helmets in the game, which... I'll go over when I get to that point. And once we defeat uh, Super Slash and Fleet Puss, then I'm going to have Magus join in uh, attacking Ozzy there. Yay, we got him. Uh, you know what? I 
don't want to take a chance. I don't think I'm going to be taking too much more pain, but just to be on the safe side, let's heal Luca up there. Okay, now it's time to go all out. Triple kick. I gotta remember to use her dino tail more often. I keep on forgetting about that. Oh well. Yay, we got him. And we all gained a level. All right, well that's it for Ozzy and Slash and Flea, and we get another dash ring that I'll be using shortly. So, um, you know, I want to equip that, so I'll take a moment to do that and be right back. Okay, um, just one thing I just realized. I was mistaken about Slasher 2. It does not increase your speed. I was thinking of the original Slasher. We got him trapped now. Okay, so basically, uh, same thing as before. When you fight Ozzy, you gotta hit the crane. So, could have been a little more inventive this time around, but oh well. I heard in the Japanese translation... Uh, they actually elaborate a little more about when Magus said he wanted to create a world of evil. Uh, he says that he was really only using Ozzy to gain power, and you can figure out. Thus, he was only doing that so that he could summon Lavos to destroy him. So, Magus was actually a good guy all along. He was just pretending to be bad. You can't fool us again, Ozzy! You will never defeat me! Here we go! Where's the command menu? What, was that the sound of a kitty? Where did the cat come from? What's the kitty doing? <laughs> the cat destroys Ozzy! Yes! Yes! Cats for the victory! Alright, and for some reason, Ozzy shattered even though he wasn't in an ice cube or something, so... Okay, well, we're done here, so... Let's see what happens when we, um... Since we defeated Ozzy this time around, and he wasn't able to found the village of the Mystics. Okay, so... Let's check out what's going on here. Huh, they got different music going on. Well, Ozzy the Eighth is here, and... He's the one doing all the dirty work now. Ha ha. And uh, Imp is in charge of the village now. And, oh, we've got a fairy going between Medina and Truce. Oh, how nice. Oh, these monsters aren't so bad after all. Let's see what else everyone else is doing around here. Let's see, how much does the inn cost? Ten gold. All right. Man, things are a lot cheaper around here. Let's see what the shop is selling now. And they got goblins selling stuff instead of those... What were they? Henches? It was a while ago. Wow, these things are even cheaper than they were at the, uh... The El Getty Village. How did the El Getty Village have such advanced equipment anyway? I mean, they were dirt poor. I mean, why would, like, the Enlightened Ones have let, let them have all that armor and stuff? Hey! Where's my freaking statue? Okay, well that's all we can do here, so... Now let's head on to the next side quest in... The Future! Yeah, there's nothing else we can do there, so... We have to head to a factory where machinery originated. Oh, there's the, uh... The... Black Omen there? Okay. No, I don't want to go there quite yet. Where the hell is this place? Isn't there like a map or something? Oh yeah, I guess I suppose I forgot to tell you. The uh, select button gives you a map. When you... I don't know if you have to be in the epoch to use it, but... Well, let's find out. Oh, okay, you can press select to do it anyway. Okay. Well, there you are. Press select, you get a world map. Yay! Okay, and here's a factory setting. Let's try to use this computer. Hey! Turn on! Why won't you turn on? The update manager is bouncing at the bottom of the screen like a Jack Russell fucking terrier! Oh, okay. Well, I gotta figure out a way to get in this place, but that's all I have. That's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Next time, we'll try to get inside the Genome Dome and figure out what secrets lie inside. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. 
Have a good day.